We're going to now take a look at the displacement attributes, which you can use for animating like growing hairs or um, really what we're going to use it for is to really accurately create hair systems on displaced geometry. All right, so let's, um, we've got this head here that we're going to use, which is a much simplified version. You can tell it's just kind of smoothed out. And we're going to put a displacement map on him here in a second. First of all, let's create a little beard for him. And uh, I'm just going to go into the face mode, get my uh, selection tool here. And I'm just going to go along and create a uh, selection here. There we go. And with that done, we'll just go in and create. And at this point, I don't really care what the hair looks like. I'll just use this red head. Okay. And we're definitely going to want to scale this. So we'll just go ahead and hit comb. And then with our brush settings here, let's go ahead and scale this hair system up. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and go ahead and puff this out just a bit. Maybe stand up some of these. Okay, so just kind of a fun, fun beard here. All right, so let's uh, let's take a render of this, and we're going to take a number of renders just to give us a baseline of what we're working with. So what we should see here is this simple geometry with a beard, and okay, that's fine. But then we're going to go back and add a displacement map. Okay. All right, so I'll store this image. Now let's look at this displacement attribute. Now you can slide this back and forth, right? So as I slide this, you can see my hair is expanding in and out, and this is how I can do a little bit of offset if I had to. Okay, give me a little bit more control. Let me set this back to zero. But let me show you where the problem lies. Let's create a displacement map for this character right here. So uh, let me go to the, its, its skin uh, material here. And under displacement map, let's connect in a file node. Okay, and we're going to connect in this fat displace.targa. Now, there's a problem with this. We created it in ZBrush, so we're going to want to reset uh, the um, gradient value, and we're going to do that with an alpha offset. So let me just render it out here real quick. It's going to be really overblown. Give it a second just to work up here. Here we go. A little bit too much, and obviously you can see the hair is all gone. So that's one problem that we're going to need to fix. Let's scroll down to the color balance here and the alpha offset, let's say, negative uh, 0.5. Okay, so that will reestablish or reset our gradient to be a little more accurate. All right, so let's render this again and see what we have to work with. That faceting that you saw is the feature, displace, uh, feature displacement setting that's turned on on that geometry. So I'll tell you, show you where that is to turn that off here in just a second. Okay, so let's take a look at this before and after. You notice that the hair did not change, but our geometry did, and it doesn't look right. Something's just not right about it. Well, first of all, let's clean up this geometry. So we'll go back into the um, shape node, and we'll go to displacement map and turn off feature displacement. That'll get us a nice smooth head when we get ready to render this. Secondly, let's go into the hair system and plug in that file node that we used earlier. Okay, so this file texture, let's plug that right in here to displacement. Now, we're going to need to do one more thing. So I want to render this just to show you what's going on. Even though we plugged it in, you have to remember that multiplier that we're dealing with, which is the slider right above it. So here we got this smooth surface. Okay, here's before and after. Okay, our geometry looks okay, but this beard still hasn't done anything. All right, well, let's fix that. Right here on the displacement, remember, 0 is being multiplied into that map, which is equaling 0. So let's set this to 1. And you saw here it did update and push it push itself out. But now when we render this, we're going to get a very accurate result. And the reason for that multiplier is maybe you don't want it to stand 100% on the surface. You might want to set it to 0.9 and keep a little bit of the hair inside of the geometry. So here's before and after. And you notice that all of those hairs are translated beautifully 
to the new uh, displaced geometry. Now, why is this happening? Well, as it gets rendered, the hair is almost like a, a composited effect. The, the uh, shave hair buffer adds this back on top of the geometry. So it thinks that this is the initial geometry, but in reality, at render time, it has it has displaced the geometry, and then the shave buffer was putting it on the old geometry. This fixes it. This gives the uh, system the ability to read the file in, multiply it, and spit it back out onto your screen. So that's how you can use uh, shave and a haircut on your displaced surfaces.